Oh, it's working. Yeah. I tried starting my bike this morning. You know, after all the maintenance I did over the winter, bike still wouldn't start. So what could be the problem? That's what we're going to find out today. I bought this bike used. Um, there was only like 6,000 miles on it. That's around the time you want to get a tune up on a bike. Not really sure if the guy did it, so I'm going to do it. I'm going with the K&N Race Spec Performance Air Filter. I'll be ripping these streets. So I need the race, race one. First time I'm doing um, spark plug change. I had to buy a tool, spark plug socket, building my tool collection. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. While I'm in there, I'm actually going to um, install block off plates. I've had them sitting around, didn't really bother to do them, but since I'm getting under there, might as well get it done. All right, let's get to work. Just want to show you guys what it sounds like when I try starting this bike. See, it turns on, so it's not the battery. It's just, I, I hit the, the electric start and check it out. Battery's strong, it's just not turning over. Figure it out. I got, a, got a nice little project for me today. I gotta take off the gas tank. I gotta get in there, open up the air box, change out the filter, um, change out the spark plugs. And hopefully that fixes the problem. Um, first things first, I gotta take off the gas tank. And to do that, I gotta take out the gas. So now I'm gonna just pump this up, empty out the gas, before I can take off the tank. Um, tank is heavier with, with a full tank of gas, so you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna empty it out as much as possible so I can work on it easier. I don't like working harder, I like working smarter. All right, we got a majority of the gas out the tank now. Now we gotta uh, work on fairings. We gotta remove, we gotta remove this fairing right here. We gotta take the seat off. Just so, you know what I mean, we can access the tank a little easier. Forgot there was a steering dampener on this thing. Not really sure how to take it off or if there's a proper way to do it, but I gotta get this off in order for me to get in there. I took out a bolt from here and I'm trying to take out this bolt right here. And look at the clearance, how? What tool, what tool is gonna get in there? Make it easier. Cause this is not, this ain't it. I'm doing like a quarter turn at a time. I need some help. I try to take the steering dampener off to, to make clearance so I could take the tank off, but still, still no clearance. So I'm gonna have to take off this hinge and pull out the tank, like from the back. Okay. I need to prop this up somewhere. I need a table. I got something. You gotta work with what you got. I'm gonna show you something. Instead of taking the whole tank off, I'm gonna leave that shit connected right here. Right on the side. How we gonna work? That ain't going nowhere. Now we gonna start with this air box. All right, to take off this air box, you are gonna need a you need a screwdriver. You got one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, and you got one in the middle down here. I don't know about you guys, but I like working on my own bike. Oh, by the way, there's a tip. Um, there's a special screwdriver for Japanese bikes, so you don't strip out, so you don't strip out the screws. You know, these Japanese screws are special. I don't know. I have a busy weekend ahead of me. That's why I'm doing this now. And I gotta get this done. It's my grandma's birthday this weekend. Pisces. Just like that. Boom, boom, boom. Don't lose that. All right, that's gonna go there. Try to remember where everything goes. Sometimes I like to take a picture. It's pretty self-explanatory. That goes on the top of the airbox. Don't forget, boy. Tuck it up right here. Oh. Yo, that steering dampener, son. Uh, air box is, top of the air box is out. This is the air filter. This is the old air filter. We're gonna leave this right there for now. I gotta get the rest of this air box out so we can get down to the spark plugs. I gotta get in here, loosen some bolts up in here. I think you just gotta take out that top bolt and then we good, this shit's coming out. You don't gotta take these out all the way, you just gotta loosen them. Almost forgot to mention this hose, this hose right here. Uh, pinch the clamp, pull this hose off. There's gonna be another hose on this side underneath. Just make sure you take all the hoses off uh, before you pull it off. Don't damage the hoses. I'm having a little trouble getting these hoses off. This one, this hose connects to the smog pump, which we're gonna get rid of. Um, These two, these two hoses are giving problems. Can't get them off. I'm gonna get them off though. Stay tuned. Check me out. Finally got the air box out. Taking this out was a lot harder than I intended, but we got it out. You know, changing the filter is easy. Just pop it out, pop a new one back in. I'm gonna clean this, clean this up a little bit before I pop it back in. We gonna do we gonna do the spark plugs and the block off plates now. We gotta take off this uh, smog pump. It's for emissions. Um, there's two plates underneath this flap that we gotta get off. One there, and one under there. My dudes, black off plates are done. We got one, two. That job is done. Now we gotta do the spark plugs. Spark plugs right here. Um, underneath these things. One, two, three, and four. We almost done, guys. Hopefully this works.
foamy as hell. Loosen it up. Don't want to tighten it. Do not want to tighten these uh, spark plugs. Over tighten them. Don't want to do that. Let's get this third one off nice and easy, baby. <music> It was definitely time for new plugs. Ah, so check me out, yo. Everything's pretty much done. Spark plugs, block off plates. Um, I gotta put this air box back in. Before I can put the air box back in, I gotta plug up. This um, this hole right here, got this little cap right here. I'm gonna plug it up like this. Put a zip tie over it. I gotta cut it though, it's a little too long. I gotta cut it. Zip tie is awesome. Nice and tight. We're gonna pop in this new filter, one, two, three. Let's crack this open. Ooh, there we go. Shit's all lubed up. New filter going in. Holla. It's a new day. I was working all day yesterday. That simple job kicked my ass. Um, I got everything put back together and bike will, still wouldn't start. Now we gotta analyze the situation. We gotta troubleshoot. What could be the problem? I thought it was a fuse, so I went in there. After I had already put the bike back together, found out it didn't work. I was like, damn, now I gotta take the bike back apart, figure it out. Um, took the tank off again, went under there. Looked at the fuses, the fuses were good, so that wasn't it. My boy actually came by, gave me some of this stuff right here, starting fluid, sprayed into the air box. Um, still didn't work, so now I'm thinking it must be spark. Maybe I didn't do the spark plugs right, maybe they're not gapped right. I don't know, but I gotta go in there, I gotta take the plugs out, I gotta check, I gotta do all that. I'm gonna do a test. I'm gonna test out the plug, see if I'm getting a spark. I guess it's gonna be a part two to this video. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I got the air box out the way again. Um, got the one spark plug out. Um, I'm gonna turn on the bike and I'm gonna touch something metal right here. I'm gonna touch something metal to the spark plug and see if we get some spark. Hopefully I don't get electrocuted. I'm a little nervous, but we gonna rock. All right, we're gonna try this shit right here. Hold it in this hand, I'm, I'm nervous as hell. Oh, spark! I felt it. Oh, I got electrocuted. All right, that one works. Test is over. I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna wear gloves this time because I got shocked last time. All right, boom, so. That's on. First one wasn't so bad, so this one shouldn't be so bad either. See if we got a spark. Whoa, yep, we got a spark again. All right, so it's not the spark plugs, what the fuck? Try this a different way. Holding it. All right, we gonna. Uh, turn the bike on. Just crank it. Spark. We got spark. Boom. Nine pounds. Nine foot pounds. Nine foot pounds. I'm gonna pop this ignition coil back in. Damn. Last one. Hmm. 
Come on, son. I'm counting on you. Uh, counting on you to be the problem so I can solve you. Can ignition. I'm fresh out the kitchen. Cranky. Sparks. Fuck, man. All these spark plugs work. I couldn't get the bike to start. I don't know what the problem is. Right now, I'm putting back on this steering dampener, which is a pain in the ass. If I have to take this off again, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm not even gonna tighten it up all the way, you know what? It's staying just like that, just so I don't lose nothing. Hmm. After putting the bike back together again for the second time, I tried starting it up and it almost started. Like the spark plugs are all good. I tested all four of them, all four of them work. Um, I really don't know what the issue is, guys. It's my grandma's birthday. I'm trying to finish this shit. I'm gonna just finish putting this back together, I guess. I'm gonna try one more time. I'm gonna try putting some sea foam in the tank. Hopefully that does something. But we got, we got some real problems here, fellas. I don't know if there's anything else I could do today. This might be the video. I was gonna be so proud of myself too. I got, I got most of this shit done. It just won't start. Um, I'm thinking it could be injectors or fuel pump. I don't know. Cause I got spark. I tested all four spark plugs. I got shocked like twice. This shit was a stressful job. I'm about to call it, call it right here. I'm about to relax a little bit. Grandma told me to relax. I'm going to let you guys go, man. Like, share, and subscribe, man. This is stressful, man. Got to keep your head up, though.